All right, we are back here on News Channel 5 Plus. You're watching Titans Talk. Titans getting set for the Broncos coming up on Sunday. Kickoff just after noon at Nissan Stadium against the defending Super Bowl champs. You can watch it over on News Channel 5. Huge game for the Titans who are tied for the moment, a two-way tie with the Texans at 6-6 six and six atop the AFC South. Colts on their way tonight against the Jets on Monday Night Football. If they win, that would make it a three-way tie with four games to go. Texans at the Colts this weekend, so some intriguing matchups there. Titans need to win against the Broncos. Huge AFC South matchup in Indianapolis as well. And phone lines still open, 737-7767 is the number. Back to the phones. David, we appreciate you waiting. You're next up here on Titan Star. Okay, I called earlier. I don't know, okay, I had to call back. Um, this is a put-up-a-shut-up game for the Titans. I mean... They gotta, they have to make some noise, and I hope they're listening to me. I want them to make some noise. I want them to, to be as, as much physical as the Broncos, but they don't have to be out. They don't have to be on their game totally. Yeah, no, I agree with that, David. Thanks for calling back. The Look, this is a game in which the Titans have to be ready to play, and they understand that. But one thing Mike Malarkey made clear today is you got to walk a bit of a fine line, especially in the NFL. This is so professional. You think so much about game plans and plans throughout the week of what you're going to do. You don't want a bunch of guys who necessarily are just going to run out of the tunnel and straight for the nearest brick wall to try to run through it. You cannot be that hyped in the NFL because chances are you won't execute. You won't be able to uh, complete passes that you need to. You, you will be undisciplined. You won't be on all of your assignments if you do that. There's a fine line between being emotionally ready to play and on a good level and being too hyped and being over the line and then not able to do the mental things that you have to do to play at your best. And so that's something that Malarkey talked about. They're not putting in like a second game plan this week because they had last week as the bye week. They're not going to over prepare. It'll be the same play counts on both sides of the ball roughly as it is during a normal week of preparation throughout the course of the year. They're not going to overbear these guys. They're not going to overhype anything. The job for the Titans is go beat the Broncos. Be at your best, do your job this weekend, and win this game. If you do that, then it's a three-game season. If you beat the Chiefs, then it's a two-game season. It is about, as cliche as it is, it is about the next game right now for the Titans. Because, in essence, they're all playoff games at this point. And if you win, it gets bigger. If you lose, you're in trouble. And that's the thing. If you look at the Titans scenario right now, they're not winning anything simply by beating the Broncos. They get to 7-6. and six. They stay in the race. You lose to the Broncos, the job becomes so much harder. Now, you can go to Kansas City. You might be able to salvage it all that way if you can win there. But... If you lose this weekend, you're going to have to win out, and you're going to need a little bit of help. You win this weekend, fight on. So that's the thing. you got to focus on this game. Be ready for this battle. Put your best foot forward, and if you win, pat each other on the back and move to the next one. That's what playoff football is all about, and essentially the playoffs start now for the Titans. Back to the phones we go. Good evening, Sharon. Sharon, thanks for the call. You're next up here on Titan Stock. I, I am a diehard fan. Awesome. And I just want you guys to know, and I can see it, thunder and thunder is not thunder. Okay? Henry is thunder. I mean, no, no um, Murray is thunder. Henry is lightning. Okay? They're two different facts. We need Henry in there more to bust that ball through. Yeah. So I, I really do. I think that I see it. I can see it. he is awesome. I mean, I think it should be like um, where they can take turns. I mean, I, I just, I can see it. Yeah. I think we saw more of that in Chicago where 
Henry got 12 carries and got 60 yards. He was the more effective back, and I think what you saw in that game is the Titans realized that, and they went more with Henry in the second half of that game when they needed to run the football. I think you'll see that again. If, he, if he's the hot hand, I think they'll feed that. But what Mike Malarkey told us today is if you're looking at our running game, we're third in the NFL in rushing. Murray's way up there in the leaderboards of individual players. I think what we're doing is working pretty well. And so we're not going to do anything drastic to change the rotation or the number of carries. DeMarco Murray is the lead back on this team, and he has been one of the leading backs in the NFL all season long. That part isn't going to change unless there's a big injury. But I think what you saw in Chicago is a welcome sign for the Titans because there truly is a second back that you can count on in Henry. And if they need to, if they need to spell Murray and go to Lightning, as you said, or if, frankly, he's just the hot hand and you get in the second half of the game, I think you might see him get more carries and ride that hot hand based off of some of the runs we've seen from him in recent weeks. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm saying that uh, Murray's good, too. I'm just saying that we need to put Henry in there. He needs more place. He needs, he needs to be out there. I, I would agree with that, no question. Sharon, thank you for the call. He's a weapon. He's a huge weapon for this offense and something I would like to see a little bit more of. They haven't had to be too wrinkly down the stretch here because the offense has been so good over the last couple of months. Remember, they've, they've scored 26 or more points in seven of the last eight games. That's impressive offense. So it's hard to be too critical on the offensive side of the ball, but as they face these really good defenses down the stretch, a wrinkle I would like to see from them a little bit more that we just saw glimpses of early in the season is having both Henry and Murray on the field at the same time. They are different backs. And I think when you put them there and you can put then Murray, say, in the slot and run him out on a pass route, or you can run the read option with Mariota with both of them on the field, I think that really starts to stretch the defense then. You're not going to do it a lot. It's going to be two or three times a game probably. But I think that gives you an opportunity to maybe fool a defense a time or two in the course of the game. Or maybe it sets up a play where you play action off of that and go deep against single coverage against somebody, and it allows you to get a big play that way. I think if you see some of those wrinkles against these defenses down the stretch, that could be very effective. But the bottom line, when you look at this Titans team, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 points a game for the last two months. Mariota dominating in terms of directing the offense and what they're doing. Terrific in the red zone. Rashard Matthews has emerged as an elite number one receiver. Delaney Walker is still a Pro Bowl tight end. DeMarco Murray is one of the leading rushers in the NFL. It's hard to complain about what they're doing offensively right now because what they're doing is working. The big concern for the Titans going into December is that pass defense, especially if the pass rush is unable to get to quarterbacks and affect them the way it has so many times throughout the course of this season. That's the big concern to me going down the stretch. All right, we've got to take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about this team, where they are, talk a little bit more about that secondary as well. Stay tuned. This is Titans Talk on News Channel 5 Plus.